Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Telling to the president, the president there is a way that a president can conduct himself. There is a way that the president can conduct himself. And for your own information, the president must mirror the republic. He must mirror what kind of a country that we are as Zambians. The president must mirror and show exemplary behavior, conduct, both in deeds and in words. But what we are beginning to see now that we have a president who feels is the Alpha and Omega and he can do as he wishes and he can use any palatable language towards others. It is not good. Today in Mansa, the president, again, telling lies. Yes, we know that there were certain incidences of of violence under PF. But to go to Mansa and say every time HH came here there was violence and to go and use a very bad uh, 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 language, very bad word to say every time HH came here, Bale Muponona. A president at a public meeting using that kind of word but this man has continued. The next time we, thing we heard was that Ukukutumba. Uh, Abantu condemned, the church is condemned, everybody condemned and said, no, 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 it's unpresidential to do this. Even lawyers condemned, churches condemned. Again, today, the president, good morning, I mean, in a kuman salelo, ukialan, that you don't say church in guys, abale muponona. Do you know the meaning of the word ukuponona? Do you know the meaning of the word ukuponona, mwena Zambia? It's when Bachtela, Koloashla vengwa, enda na ponona. Koloashla vengwa, enda na ponona. Ukuponona means pulling the foreskin of the penis backwards. That's the meaning of ukuponona. So, they simply mean is that the language that the president must go and speak proudly at a public meeting? Ah, please. 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 Tuwa papa atasana ba HH. Na imu mweba ntumu atota. Kulube mba umuntu wa isa atukano rusele lwa kulefyo. Mwala atota no kutota. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. And the president must not be the first one to encourage lawlessness. How does the president go and at a public rally Go and recognize Chavinga as leader of the opposition. Mm. But President, you are promoting lawlessness. This matter concerning Chavinga is in court. And I don't think you as President of the Republic of Zambia would be in the forefront to recognize somebody who has been appointed under very, very, very suspicious and illegal circumstances. Supposing this had happened to the UPND, would you be happy for 
uh, for any other government to recognize Ch Chavimba, Chavinga as leader of the opposition under the circumstances. No, our president, our president, save us the embarrassment. Chavinga is not leader of the opposition in parliament. And even if you feel so strongly about it because I know you and Chavinga are, are, are buddies, you are very good friends, please avoid bringing that kind of thing to the general public because people will lose confidence. What are you telling the judges? You are putting the judges in an awkward situation because if the president is pronouncing that this is the leader of the opposition, what are you trying to say? You remember when President Edgar Lung at one time in, in uh, Solwezi uh, said, whoever is going to rule against me, blah, blah, blah. You condemned it so much and said, when a matter is in court, leave it to the courts to decide. But so what has gone wrong with you, Pres President Hagainde Ichilema? What has just gone wrong with you? Why are you behaving in this particular manner? Just why, my brother? Yeah. Ah, weba ne. Uyumule leta mchalo muse vanya. Muse vanya ukala mbasana. Chavinga is not leader of the opposition. And it was wrong for you as president at a public meeting to recognize him as such. You know the provisions of Article 74.2, our leader of government is elected. And you know for sure that what Mao Sampa did, the so-called uh, 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 general conference, is a sham of a general conference. It has got no legal uh, basis to stand on. And above all, you know that there is a principle of uh, subjudice. Why would you want to go and start uh, you know, commenting on matters that are in court in public as president. You are simply telling the people of Zambia that all of us must start being, uh, behaving in a way that we promote law lawlessness. No other president. You can do better. You can do better. You see, before you became president, these are some of the things that people complained. This man is like this, this man is like this. You went and insulted the northern province. People forgave you. Again, today, Mwayatu Kanakulua Pula province. No mbo mwa na imuinga kesa mkulanda in your presence. Adwa president nari mpono na ulia. Mkonfashan. Are you going to be happy with that? Ah, weba. Ni mwila chitefi wa HH. You can do better. You can do better. Stop it. You owe the Zambian people an apology. You owe the judicial an apology. You owe the judge an apology for recognizing Chavinga as leader of the opposition. No wonder even the speaker is behaving like this. Because if this is coming from the head of state, what do you expect the speaker? How do you expect the speaker to behave? However, President, some of these things you can avoid them. Please don't bring shame to that office of the president. It is a very respected office. But you are devaluing the, this office by your conduct. If you don't know Bemba very well, please ask us. But I know you know what it means. That was deliberate. And what you were saying is not true. Tell us when you were beaten in Wapula province. Because the, the, these boys use that word to try and to, 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 to mean that you were, it's beating somebody. But the actual meaning is what I've told you. Ukuponona is pulling the false skin of the penis. And you can't go and use that language in public. HH vale muponona. Ngai sakuno HH kuponona. Kuponoka. Even if you meant to say beating, but when were you ever beaten in Wapula province? Why do you want to inculcate hate in the minds of the people? 
Why? And your behavior is, 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 is very selective. Right now, in southern province today, Mr. President, every time there is a by-election, the opposition are failing to file nominations. The candidates are chased and beaten. You don't talk about it. You don't talk about it. But you go to Lapu and lie that every time HH came, he was being beaten. I remember very well in 2015, 2016, we were campaigning freely. You were also holding a lot of rallies in Wapula province. Nobody beat you. Nobody chased you. But there was a problem because I said, and I want to say it again, I condemned when they said that because of COVID, people must not be allowed to, come to have public rallies. I condemned that one. Despite being PF, I said, no, you cannot hold an election without campaigns. And learn something from this. When you do certain things to try and get at others, that thing will turn around and haunt you. So stop lying, the president. How can we have a lying president? When were you ever beaten in Wapula province? Show us a video or show us a newspaper caption where HH was beaten in Mansa for you to go and stand at a platform and say, every time we came here, we were beaten. No one, eh? president, It's not building anybody. And also, Your Excellence, with due respect, Tell your PSAs there are limits in government. The problem that you have created today is that almost 96% of the current PSAs are ordinary UPN decaders. And almost all of them have never been career civil servants. And that is why this government is failing to perform. Because you have PSAs who don't understand the system, who don't know what they are supposed to do. Some of them, I'm reliably informed, cannot even write a memo. They don't know what to do. They are figureheads in those offices. But now, if you have somebody who doesn't understand the civil service, you are going to blame others for failure to perform, and yet is your PSAs. How can a PS for Central Province, appear on a platform on radio by President Kwenana Mutapasoswa. Then somebody calls and says, but P.S. Tuwa umfa muleva tafisa ngame no ya mukanwa. Bushe, te imo mwewe ne mwaleva tidola ikabuela within 24 hours. Te imo mwewe ne mwaleva tubunga bukabuela. Te imo wa, 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 wa UPND haba leva tifi. If I were that PS, I would have said, my dear, me, I am a civil servant. Me, I am a civil servant, I am not UPND. If you are referring to the promises that UPND made, I don't talk about those issues. For me, I talk about uh, what government is doing because I am a civil servant. But here is a PF, PS. Because he's a cadre, he goes and says, if we to pipa ma fi mwanyele, mwanyama fi to le pipa. The interviewer even told him, mm, but P.S., you are using to, uh, that is a strong language. He even goes to say, yes, these people understand the strong language. That P.S. is showing that he's partisan, he's a cadre, and he's supposed to be fired under normal circumstances. But because we are promoting these illegalities, we think it is all right. Mweba mwina nena mpapata. Mwana kampu wa iwe PS. Don't be uh, arrogant. Apologize for what you did. And to make matters worse, because his PS, he goes to instruct the police to arrest and lock up that caller. What offense did that caller commit? Merely reminding that this is what government promised us. 
And because Mwanaka Mpwa is a cadre who was in the forefront campaigning for UPND, and why that person asked him like that? Because he used to see him on the platform campaigning and making promises. If the PS was not involved in the campaigns and making promises, was just a civil servant, there is no way that caller could have referred to him as Kaidin Momo Alelanda. Because the caller could have, uh, uh, could have uh, 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 known that there is a distinction between the political party, UPND, and the PS as a government employee. But because he's, he's a man who was seen every day campaigning for UPND as a cadre, and then he becomes PS. That is why he was uh, uh, asked that question. And for him to come out in that way, in any case, he was not only insulting that particular caller, he insulted all the people of Zambia. You can't say that as PS. And I have seen a lot of PSs when they are on the radio, on the TV, they say what the previous government did, we are cleaning up. But PS, Monseba PS, stop saying that. Government is a continuous process. If the previous government made a mistake and you are PS, you are part of that mistake. The only people that can say that are politicians. There is nothing wrong with the minister saying that as a policy maker. There is nothing wrong with the president blaming the previous government, but a PS to say that we are cleaning up what the previous government, the mistakes of the previous government, we, we have promised you this, then they failed to do this, that is wrong. If you want to play politics, leave the civil service. Go and play your politics outside the civil service. So, Mwanaka Mpwa, we are shocked that the president has not even cautioned him. We expected the president to take action against Mwanakampa, or even scold him publicly and say, look, P.S., you cannot do such a thing. But the president is quiet, and today the president also goes to recognize Chabimra when the matter is in court, and goes to say at a public rally, no, 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 no. This government is a government of lawlessness. And you must be ashamed of yourselves. But you can see that the lawlessness is right from the beginning. The insults, the unparatable language is right from the top. What a shame. What a shame. So you, P.S., must apologize. And you have been, uh, 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 you know, you have been compensating people who have been, uh, who were being arrested under PF. That man in Kawe who was arrested and detained for about four days by police on the instruction of Mwanakampo must be compensated because what you was inflicted on him was ex-judicial punishment using state security. This is unfortunate. So I want to repeat, by PS, you should differentiate your position is not that the position of the minister. Ministers can play politics, but immediately the PSs start playing politics. Just know that the country will not move forward. That is why today you have the largest number of civil servants being transferred to PSMD. Not actually being transferred, being surrendered to PSMD. And now government is spending more money than it budgeted for. Because if you have a substantive office bearer, and then you've got another one on the same position who has been uh, uh, handed over to PSMD, then you are paying two people in one position. That is abuse of authority, one. That is the uh, 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 misuse of uh, government resources. And we... I am extremely shocked, shocked that the Auditor General's uh, report did not even reflect uh, this anomaly. Then you know that we do not have the Auditor General worth his sort. Because this should have been highlighted in the, audit, in the Auditor General's report that government is paying double salaries 
for one position. But the Auditor General's report has not even reflected this. So you can see that that Auditor General is a fake Auditor General. Please, PS, Wakangwa, you have been in government for a long time. Advise these PSs. Yes, it's tempting because they are cadres, but they are not supposed to do that. They are not supposed to do that. And today we are seeing PSs appearing on radio all the time, all the time, all the time, talking about policy issues. And by the way, those roving uh, PSs, where are they getting the budgetary allocation to do what they are doing? Because they are only earning salaries. You know that if a PS is out of station, he has to earn an, uh, you know, a salary for being away from, from work, for being away from station. So these people have taken advantage because the current president does not understand the running of government. The current people in government do not understand. Look, how do you allow ministers to be out of the country during the budget presentation? I've never seen this. In my all poli 15 years of being in, in, in parliament, three terms, I never saw if there is any sitting where the president cannot and rarely gives the permission for ministers to go out is the budget time. But today we are seeing this minister is in China, this minister is in Congo, this minister is in this, and yet the budget is being approved. To the extent that we even saw <laughs> the finance minister away from station when they are presenting the budget. And we are not going to go anywhere. If you have a fear, all they know is only to, you know, boasting. Yesterday the president was even saying, no, our friends failed to, to, to uh, uh, construct Kasama Airport. We have done it in two years. In Sonia Wuntu. That Kasama Airport construction was constructed by, P, by PF. The only thing that remained was to put a tarmac. They had compacted, they had regraveled uh, the, the, the runway, and what was only remaining was to put a tarmac. So you just go and put a tarmac, you say, I have built the airport in two years, which they failed in seven years. Stop misleading the people. You can't everywhere you go kube po wufi. Eh? Hawe ba ni mwila chitefi. Mutoto kafuaya went and uh, 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 inspected the construction of uh, that Kasama airport. And uh, there are records on video. Records on video. Him inspecting the construction. How can you come today and say, Hello, ukuta shava nenwe chova wombele. To say thank you to the previous government for what they did is a virtue that must be inculcated in all of us. But ukula wepa liyonso ufino wali ifiruwa wena in two years. I was so shocked when the president was inspecting the runway. Valela andana wena Gary Nkombo, na Minister of Transport and Communication, na Kachabinga Kene. Fide bombeka mwamona. In two years, we have built an airport. Ba HH. Isa airport eo mwakula. Say we have tied the, the runway, people understand. Because that's, only, that's the only thing that you have done. And now if you are saying our friends failed, how many airports has PF built to international standard? Ndola airport? Can you compare Ndola airport to what has been done at putting a tarmac in Kasama? Can you compare the construction of the Lusaka International Airport? Can you compare Ali Mwangankumbula? Allah learn to appreciate others.
Okulala and the fiance, everything that you do is the first of its kind since independence. Even when you went to see uh, Chief Chitimukulu, Paramount Chief Chitimukulu, you were saying we are going to build chief's palaces. It has never been done. It's the first of its kind. Are you sure? The construction of chief's palaces was an idea by President Michael Sata's government. And the first budgetary allocation to start building chief's palaces was in 2013. 2013, that is when the first provision in the budget was made towards chief palaces. And a lot of chief palaces have been built. Some of them are at 50%, some of them at 80%, some of them are at complete completion. Today you go to Luapula and say, we have come to lay a foundation stone to signify the beginning of construction of chief's palaces. I want to say, I have said and I want to say again, umuntunga wa gufi, akula wepa fi gufi every time, taka chinje. Echo akale, wale se selama tui. Umuntunga wa gufi, wale putula kwa ma tui. Pakutu konzo kwa le pita, wamu ishiba tui wa gufi. But we don't want to go back to the, to the, to the uh, stone edge of doing such things. We can only appeal to President Haga in the Ichilema. The Kenyan Wufiba President. How can you go and say building of chief palaces has never been done since independent? It's the first of its kind. first. You are the one to do everything that you, 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 you it's, it's you who has done it for the first time. Insoni e wuntu. Insoni e wuntu. So learn to appreciate what others have done before you. In terms of airports, you cannot even compare. We have a tar runway, which was already, you know the construction of the runway, even the tiring of the runway. You cannot just go and put the tarmac. You are supposed to, to prepare the, the super uh, structure, the surface, compact it, you know, after compacting, you put uh, 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 concrete, after you put some concrete mixed with, uh, with, uh, with uh, gravel, then you re-gravel the, the surface, then the last stage is only to lay off the, uh, uh, the, 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 the tarmac. Mwaya of the tarmac. Umuntu wali kulenga ndaka le nama windu wali bika. Mwaya wika pofi omutengiati na kulenga nda in two years. <laughs> Zambians wake up. Commercial break. Mwebena Zambia wake up and see our president for who he is. Vale yunfwa. I'm an economist. When I come, the dollar to the kwacha, le elo kwacha na dollar hiliku. Where is the rate of the kwacha to the dollar today? Going towards 24,000. Going, sorry, not 1,000. Going towards 24 kwacha. And then you are now hating the economy more by the decision of the Bank of Zambia, which is a decision of government to increase the minimum reserve uh, uh, ratio. Within a month, you have increased the minimum reserve ratio twice on the pretext that you are trying to control uh, inflation. Those are archaic ways of uh, working on your inflation. Those are archaic ways on working on your inflation. Because look, if you increase the reserve ratio, it simply means that there will be very uh, little money on the market for people to borrow because the cost of borrowing will go up interest rates will go up. Now, when interest rates go up, manufacturers of goods will go and borrow that expensive money. When they borrow the expensive money, they will take that to the consumers, simply meaning the produced goods will be more expensive. And if the goods are expensive, how can you drop inflation? 
If the goods are expensive, how can you drop inflation? <laughs> By economist. You have failed you. The, 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 we have told you, particularly I've told you, the answer to all these problems of the exchange rate is one, increase productivity in the mining uh, uh, industry, and also let us have a share, a fair share of the proceeds from the mining companies. Not only by way of taxes, we should share in the profits, because what we are getting from whatever is sold in terms of uh, 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 copper, cobalt, is very little. And when we get very little, it means there will be no dollar on the market. The Bank of Zambia governor was telling us yesterday that we don't have enough dollars in stock to even help to cushion the, uh, the, the, the exchange rate by offloading dollars on the market to fight the non-availability. But how do you remedy that? You only remedy it if you have more dollars. How do you have more dollars? Vash Shakopa, for instance, uh, last year, we exported in excess of uh, uh, $16 billion worth of, uh, of, of copper. And we were only paid 300 and something million in terms of taxes. The rest of the money went out and externalized. How would you have availability of uh, dollars? But if, for instance, we had 40% stake in the mining companies, it would mean the profit, 40% profit, would be given to us. So we'll have more dollars in, 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 in our account. But by economists, we have to increase the uh, minimum uh, uh, you know, reserve uh, 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 rate. That is siphoning money from the economy. And when you siphon money from the economy, the banks are taking the money, keeping most of the money at the Bank of Zambia. There is no money in circulation. Goods are becoming expensive because the interest rates are going up and businesses operate on mainly on borrowed money. So if they borrow at expensive automatically the cost of those goods that are going to be produced will be expensive. And if the goods in the economy are very expensive, high cost of, of, of living, there's no way you can fight inflation. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.